Now we want to create a texture for a cylinder using the unwrap UVW modifier. So I'll create a cylinder and I've added an unwrap UVW modifier to it. I'm going to open the UV editor. And amongst all the tools, there's some select tools on the bottom left. And I want to go to polygon level and select them by their element. This way, I can select everything with one click. I can flatten the mapping uh, by using the defaults. And this flattens out the object. And keeping the select by element on, I can. arrange the maps such that the blue edges, which shows the seams, will match. So I'm not taking a, a whole lot of time or effort to make it good. Now that I have it arranged, I can see that the selection is interactive in the viewport, so I can see the bottom and the top of the can. So the bottom of the can is all arranged it so I can see what I'm doing. So I can, when I build this in Photoshop, I can know what I'm painting. And so once it's arranged, I can go to Tools and render the UVW template. It's going to be a 1024 by 1024 image, which is fine. And I'll go ahead and save that image as a JPEG. And so this image is now saved as a JPEG, and I'll close it and close the editor. And I'll go to Photoshop and open that rendered image or template. I'm going to add a layer to it in which I can paint, on which I can paint. And we'll paint some edges to the can, just around the vertical sides. I'll switch colors the top blue choose a different color green bottom and perhaps an interior color of yellow I'll save this to a higher quality image, it's just a TIFF. Now, I'll go back to 3ds Max, and build a material for it. Take out that material. I'll just use a standard material, it's a diffuse color, as a bitmap, and add the TIFF image as the bitmap. I'll show it in the viewport and assign it to the selected object. Now I can see the red and yellows and the tops and bottoms of the can. Now any change I make to the Photoshop document will be updated in the so I'll add some cyan here. I'll save it. And then toggle back to the 3ds Max document and see that those changes are updated in the, in the viewport. 